Nike is one of the world's leading athletic brands and they have a massive footprint. So getting a job there is incredibly challenging. But I'm about to make it a lot less challenging for you specifically because I'm about to give you actual questions you're going to be asked in your Nike interview and I'm going to teach you from a recruiter's perspective how to answer the questions so you can differentiate yourself as the best candidate possible. Let's go. Now before we jump into the questions quickly, I do want to say that these are general questions. So if you're interviewing for a specific role like a developer or a procurement person or any really specific niche. Um, within Nike, it's obvious that you're probably going to be asked some questions specific to the role you want to perform. So you should prepare for that. But these questions are all general questions that just about everybody's going to be asked at some point in their interview process. Let's get into them. Now the first question is why Nike or why do you want to work at Nike? And this is a great classic question that you'll be asked just about every interview you ever do for the rest of your life. Why do you want to work here? And the secret to answering this interview question is the 50-50 rule. So what is the 50-50 rule? The 50-50 rule states that whenever you're asked a question, why do you want to work here? The first 50% of your answer should be about the company. Why is the company attractive to you? This could be their core values, their product, the stances they have taken, environmental impact, etc. Whatever you want to pick that is meaningful to you. The second 50% should be about why you're a great fit for the role. How has your experience, education, the industries you've worked with prepared you to be a success for this specific role? Now, if you can do those two things, you are absolutely going to nail the first interview question. Now, the next question you're going to get asked in your Nike interview is, can you tell us about yourself, specifically your working experience? Now, this is a very common interview question. and It's often used as an icebreaker. Tell me about yourself. Whenever you're asked this interview question, it's not your life story. Rather, what you are being tasked with doing is taking them through your education and work experience in a way that is leading them to reach the conclusion this person is qualified for the role. Now, you don't want this to be too short or too long. So think, you know, 45 seconds to a minute and a half. And what you want to do is give them the cliff notes of the different positions you've had, your education, and why they make you a good fit for this role. It should be leading into the position that you're going to. So you don't need to say, oh, I grew up in this place and I, you know, da 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 da, and give personal details. If they want personal information, after you're done giving them the list of the professional uh, achievements, positions you've hold, why you're qualified, they will probe further. They'll go, okay, well, tell me a little bit about yourself. And that is an invitation for you to go in and share why you're a good fit from an interest, um, background, family perspective. But whenever you're asked this question in a job, remember, you're interviewing for a job. So take them through chronologically the positions you've held and why they prepared you to be great at this role. This next question is a great one and it's what are you passionate about and how does that relate to Nike? Now this is a bit of a no-brainer. If you've been involved in sports or you're involved in like marathon running or some sort of distance running or biking or rowing or whatever it is, this is your opportunity to share that I'm passionate about this and the reason why I'm related to Nike is because I love Nike products. And they've been a big part of my training and competition, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, practice talking about this and practice saying it so that it comes off as natural. But one of the things that's really important here is to remember, they said, what are you passionate about? People buy passion. So if you give this answer in a way that isn't passionate and they don't believe that you're passionate about Nike, um, and passionate about your sports or whatever it is you shared, it's not gonna get it done. So make sure you share some energy when you're going through this answer. The next question is, tell us about a time you succeeded under pressure. Now, this question is a behavioral interview question. How do I know that? Well, it starts with, tell me about a time when. What they're doing is they're asking you to look back on something that's already happened as a predictor of future behavior. And that, my friends, is a behavioral interview question. Whenever you are asked a behavioral interview question, it's important that you use the STAR method. And that goes situation, task, action, result. So what was the situation you were in? What was the task you specifically had? What was the action you took? And then what was the outcome, right? Uh, what was the result? So when they're asking you, um, tell us about a time when you succeeded under pressure, just talk about a work experience. Talk about how there was significant pressure. Walk them through situation, task, action, result. 
and make the outcome something where you achieve something, you came through, and it was to the benefit of your company and team. If you can do that, you'll be great. This is obviously personal to you because it's your personal experience. So think about a great example, bring it to the table, practice it a time or two, think 60 to 120 seconds, and you'll nail it. This next one is similar, and it's tell me about a time you failed either in school or work. Um, this is again, behavioral interview questions. So situation, task, action, result. It's important here to do a few things. You don't wanna be overly negative, right? So you're gonna be telling a story about how you failed. Make it authentic, right? Don't make it something that is that fake answer for an interview. Talk about a time you legitimately fell short. Don't be overly negative about it. And then you have to include what you learned about it. So situation, task, action, result. And what I learned is from this situation is never blank, blank, blank. And moving forward, what I always did was blank, blank, blank. If you can show them you're an authentic person who has fallen short, but instead of letting that demotivate you, get you down and motivated positive change, that's what they're looking for. By the way, in case you didn't notice, like I'm like a huge Nike fan. These are some of my, uh, my Jordans. If you um, are also a little bit of a sneaker head, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. That way you never miss one of my three free weekly videos that are all designed to help you land your dream job and navigate your career. The next question is how important is teamwork to you? Well, when you think about Nike, what do they do? They make sport uh, equipment, right? They make clothing, sporting equipment. They make all, all sorts of things, all thing sport and fashion related. And at the core of all the markets they serve are teams. So teamwork should obviously be very important to them. So when you're answering this question, you know, I would say very. Teamwork is very important to me and it's part of what drives me and motivates me. I also think it's really important to be part of a great team because the knowledge sharing that occurs in a team can help you move towards your goal. You're going to work with people in different teams and different environments in which they bring different things to the table than you, and that can help us all achieve our goals. Something like that is going to be good, but just talk about how you're motivated by team, you love being a part of a team, and how there's a benefit to being a team. If you can do those things, you're gonna crush it. The next question is, tell me about a time you showed initiative. Again, tell me about a time when, this tells you it's a behavioral interview question. So situation, task, action, result. Um, but beyond that, when they say, tell me about a time when you showed initiative, it is really important here to share with them an authentic story, but in this story, it can't just be you doing your job. You have to go above and beyond. Showing initiative means you're not doing something that somebody else told you to do, but rather you're seeing an opportunity to do something different and you're pursuing it under your own volition to make a positive impact. That's what you need to make sure you're communicating when you answer this interview question, and if you do that, you're gonna nail it. The next question is describe a time where you use persuasion to successfully convince someone. Okay, so this is again, behavioral interview question. Describe a time when, that's the same as tell me about a time when. But what's really important here is the way we view persuasion. Because persuasion can be negative or it can be positive. And the way you frame your answer needs to be positive here. You use persuasion not to manipulate someone, but rather to help show them a different perspective in which a different way can help you achieve your end goal more effectively or efficiently. So when you're telling your story, it can't be you trick someone into doing something because that was the outcome you wanted to achieve, but rather you showed them a different perspective. So maybe it involved you listening to them, understanding their opinion, and then sharing something that maybe they weren't aware of to help shift the way they viewed the problem so that you could both reach your common solution better and more effectively. And if you can do that, you're gonna nail this interview question. Remember, it's a behavioral interview question. So situation, task, action, result, follow the framework, follow the advice I'm giving, and you'll nail it. The next question is an important one, and it's tell me about your salary expectations. Now, I've done a lot of videos on salary and negotiation, but at a very high level, the way I like to answer this as a candidate is I go, well, you know, that's a good question, but honestly, at this stage in my career, money isn't the most important thing to me. I'm really focused on joining an organization that is aligned with my core values, and I'm really interested in the next step in my career. And this role sounds like a perfect step for me in terms of what I wanna be doing on a day-to-day -day basis and how I wanna be able to influence the outcomes. So I'm open to a compensation that is fair and commensurate with my experience and ability. What is the range you were looking for for this role? And I turn it around on them so that they share with me the information first. Um, note here, if they go, totally Ben, but what is a range? I don't make it a contentious thing. 
I try to get them to say it first, but I don't turn it into an argument. If that's the case and they push it back, I go into this with my research knowing what my bottom number is, and then I let them know. You know, I'd be looking at a range of this to this. This is my absolute basement that I would accept, and here is my champagne number. Beer number, champagne number. I'm not a huge fan of ranges because whenever you tell a recruiter the range, they're going to hear the bottom number, you're thinking the top number, but if your bottom number is a number that you would absolutely be happy to accept with, anything lower than that, you'd be willing to walk away, that's where you want to be at. Now this video is done, but I want you to watch this video. This video is a deep dive into the most important question they're going to ask you, and that question is why do you want to work at Nike? In this video, I'm going to give you different specific examples and teach you exactly what to say so you blow them away. Look, if you can answer why do you want to work here in a compelling fashion for a company as competitive as Nike, you will not get that job. But if you watch this video, you will be prepared to nail it.